Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am using the Danessa Myricks Groundwork Palette and I used it today on my eyes, lips, contour, brows, everything. <laughs> so if you wanted to see how I got this look and how this performs, then just keep watching. All right, so here is the palette. So I've done my foundation. I used same old, you guys are gonna be like, we're sick of hearing about it already. The Revlon Colors Day in the shade 180, Sand Beige, this little guy. Use the Kelly Ray um, So Blown Primer, this one here. And then I also used my oil, the um, Great Skin Oil by Merit. And on the eyelids, all I used was the MAC Paint Pot. I did notice for some reason I have a little bit of dryness on my eyelids. So if there's a tiny bit of patchiness on this side, let's just ignore it because I think it's just my eyes or it's the paint pot. This is new though and I was finding it did feel a little dry. So I'm not sure, but um, powders, I do have a little bit of the Givenchy Prisma Libre um, number three, just kind of under the eye along with the Tower 28 concealer in the shade BU, and it's, I think it's 2BU. Um, and then this is number three. And then I did kind of put this very lightly all over with the NARS Cove uh, Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder. I always forget the name, it's so long. But yeah. It's in the shade Cove, and I'm almost out of that somehow. I was wearing it every single day for a really long time, though, so I guess it makes sense. So we are going to use this for my contour. We're going to use it for brows. We're going to use it for lips. We're going to use it on the eyes um, as liner as well. And blush. I have a different blush that I want to use. I'm just going to use the Chanel blush, I think. But, um, yeah, let's get started. So... This is what the packaging looks like. Very pretty, heavy. Um, sorry, hiccup. Um, so it just says on the front, Danessa Myricks Beauty Groundwork Defining Neutrals Palette for eyes, brows, face, and lips. So there you go. The weight, sorry, it's like reflecting off the light, is... Total is 26 grams, 0.91 ounces net weight. And then the pomades, sorry, that was for the powder. The pomades are one, sorry, 10 times 1.8 grams each and 0 0.063 ounces. So the powders are quite a bit smaller than the pomades. It does come with a little protective cover here. So it's just a plastic and then also a little foamy insert. And this is what it looks like. I will insert what it looked like before I went and put my grubby little brushes and fingers in here, but this is what it looks like so far. Um, somebody who did an awesome video using this is Martina Lilly. Go check out her channel. She's amazing. And I probably will be using a lot of the same shades that she used because we're very similar in skin tone. She likes to call herself a piece of paper. I like to call myself a ghost. So, you know, we're the same. Um, and who else? Uh, Rebecca, not fit for print beauty. Also go check out her channel. She's amazing. She is just like such like a beam of light. She's just always happy. She's never like complaining about anything. Even if she doesn't like a product, she's always nice about it. And I just think that's hard to find. So she's great. So Rebecca, not fit for print beauty and Martina Lilly. She's hilarious too. Um, okay, so I think the first shade we're gonna go in, this is my favorite shade in the whole palette, I think, and it's called Chiseled. So I'm like trying not to use that one, but I feel like that one's gonna be the first to go. Um, just a call out, ingredient call out here. So they are talc free, free from for, formaldehydes. Um, and there is a product, sorry, an ingredient called Upsolite in the 
in the uh, creams. And what that does is help to control oil and it also helps with texture. So it helps to smooth texture. So if you are oily, because that's one thing I was worried about, I'm like, okay, I'm combo and I don't want this to make me any oilier than I already am, but the Upsolite will help with that. And I was scared, not scared, I mean, I wasn't scared, but I was wondering if these pomades were gonna dry out because, I mean, you can close it obviously, but when you're using it, they're exposed to the air. And I'm like, oh, I'm worried that just it being open for so long, that that would dry them out quicker. And there's no like flap like Patrick Ta has in his palettes to kind of keep them from drying out. And apparently somebody did mention um, on YouTube I did see a comment because this I had commented on somebody else's video saying that and apparently Danessa did um, address this and she said that there is an ingredient in here that helps the pomades from drying out. Now I don't know if that's right. I'm just stating what I heard so don't come after me if that's wrong but hopefully that is true because that's the one thing that I was worried about and another thing is I just personally prefer using powder products especially on the eyes so I was hoping or if I had my way I think what I would do is make the cream smaller and make the powders bigger because if I'm going to do a bronzer I mean I'm going to have to go for the cream right instead of going for the powder because look how tiny the powder is I can't fit a brush in there I mean I could try I did try I did use it the other day so that was my only con um but yeah let's get into it already i'm sorry i'm just like it's what i do so we're gonna go into chisel my favorite color and we are going to chisel the face so i'm just going into the cream pomade first and i remember the first time i used it i was like oh. like just even putting the pomade on i was like okay wow because like i said i'm not like i do use creams I do still use them, even though they're not, like, my number one kind of choice. Like, when I usually contour my face, I don't really use creams. I'll just go in with a bronzer. I kind of just do a bronzer and do it all in one. But when I used this for the first time, I was like, okay, whoa. So smooth. So blendable. Like, I didn't even have to do anything. And there's like zero patchiness. There's nothing. So you can see immediately how that just kind of snatched my cheekbone. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on the other side, of course. I was having such a hard time deciding between Patrick Ta and this one. And I know they're completely different. Like Patrick Ta is specifically... A shadow palette and I just I had a hard time <laughs> um, so I ended up getting this one I had points to use so I had points when I bought the Patrick Ta palette I in fact did buy it um, and then I was watching Martina Lilly's video and I'm like oh no now I want this one because I was literally standing in Sephora just debating. I was looking at both of them like they were right beside each other. I'm like, I don't know. Well, I don't know. I don't know. And I think it was the cream that kind of steered me away from this palette. But then when I saw her video, I was like, oh, no. No, I want this. Especially because she had such good things to say about it. And, um, yeah. So that happened. And then they had the... Uh, the points thing where you could get 500 points. So then I ended up getting more points. So I was able to use my $10 off of this palette. So that was nice. Okay, so just going down the jawline, I'm not doing like a ton of contouring. I guess it might look like I am, but just lightly down the jawline and the chin. Like this is, this is my problem area. You can see it. Go away. I guess that's a me problem. I need to do some dieting and exercise. But yeah. Anyway. 
So now I'm just contouring the forehead a little bit. Again, I don't generally contour my forehead. I mainly just bronze, but since we're here, may as well do it. I will contour my nose as well. For my nose, I do generally use a cream contour, which I know I just said I don't use cream much, but I use the NYX contour stick and then I add powder after. So instead of doing that, so this is the one I usually use. This one. It's looking pretty bad right now because I use it all the time. But this is, sorry, the Wonder Stick is what it's called. And I have the shade Fair. So instead of that, I'm going to go in with the brush that I normally use, which is the All Over Precision brush from It Cosmetics. And I'm going to go back into that same shade, which is Chiseled. I'm just adding some to the tip of my nose to shorten my nose. I literally don't know how I went so long without contouring my nose. Because I do it every single day now. <laughs> And if I forget, which I rarely do, okay, I don't know what happened there, but it kind of, that was a brush fault and a me fault, not the cream. Um, but yeah, now when I forget, which I don't normally forget, but if I do, I'm like, why do I look weird right now? Something is missing on my face. What's happening? And it's because I'm missing contour. Something happened there, and I don't know what. Maybe I'll just have to put a little bit of the brightening color. So I'm just adding a tiny bit more. What happened? First I'm gonna blend it, and then see if I can salvage this, because I don't know, that got weird. Normally I just take another It Cosmetics brush. This one is so old, but I can't seem to throw it away. This is the one I wanted to buy, but I bought this one by, by mistake. This is, I think the, this is like their most popular one. I, uh, for the life of me, I can't remember what it's called, but I should just buy the Elf one because really it's exactly the same. So I think I kind of fixed it somehow. Um, so I'm going to go in with a little bit of a darker shade here. So let's maybe go, I don't know, I'm scared. I don't want to go too dark. Let's go maybe that powder, which is called Sculpted. Oh, fitting. But I'm just like dabbing it very carefully. And I like to just add powder to the tip of my nose because... I'm the only one on this earth that still wears a mask, but <laughs> if I go to the gym or something, or when I go to work, okay, listen, people come into work sick all the time, and I'm like, can you get the hell out of here? You have sick days. You can work from home. Get out. That's just me. And I know they can work from home, okay? I'm not just saying that. Anyway. Okay, so I'm going in with a little more on the tip. And again, that was that shade sculpted. And then I do blend this out. I noticed in one of my Chanel videos, I did not do a good job of blending my nose contour. I was like, what happened? <laughs> Sometimes it's because I'm in bright lighting. And then if I go in dim lighting, I'm like, whoa, whoa. Better? I think that's better. Okay, I think we're okay. Let's just calm down on the nose for now. So now I would generally do bronzer. Why do I keep saying generally? I keep saying this in every video. I'm like, generally? I don't know, I'm sorry. So I think I'll try to go in with Mirage, which is this color here. Oh. Um, sorry, 
my fiance just texted me. I had to get an oil change and it was cheaper than I thought. So I was happy. Okay, so this is actually looking pretty good. So I'm just literally going like this, taking this huge brush and just trying to tap it into that powder. It's probably getting some of that pomade as well, but that's fine. The pomade doesn't feel like you would expect it to feel. I feel like you'd expect it to feel super creamy, like oily. It does not feel like that at all. It actually feels, I don't want to say it feels dry. It feels more like a, how can I put this? Like when you stick your finger in it, there's a dent there. Um, I can't really describe the texture. It's not like moussey. I don't know. It's it's strange, but it's good. I like it. It it feels better than I expected it to. So again, I'm going in with that same color, which is what did I say? Mirage. I might add a tiny bit of bronzer just because I don't want to like use up all the shade because I'm using so much of it. I'm weird about stuff like that. I'm like, oh, I don't want, <laughs> I don't want my palette to look ruined and like, you know, when you go to swipe something or swatch something, it's like immediately there's a huge dip in it. I'm like, no, I want to keep it looking nice. I'm really weird like that. I don't know. I've been like that since I was a kid. I remember my cousin used to use my markers and I'd be so weird about it. I'd be like, don't press too hard. Like, who am I? Or you know how kids would like draw on their dolls and stuff? I just never, I, I was like, no, I want to keep her looking nice and pretty. I don't know. It's a weird thing. But it's like, obviously, eventually, like you, you buy these products to use. So, you know, use them, obviously. So I'm just going to close my palette for now while I find a bronzer to use. I think... I used this one yesterday and I forgot how much I liked it. It's a little on the warmer side though and usually I like more like neutral golden bronzy shades. Um, This is the Jaclyn Hill bronzer in the shade Skinny Dip. This is described as a more neutral shade but I do feel like it does lean warm. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more because if you've ever watched my videos I love bronzer. <laughs> My name is Rachel and I have a bronzer obsession. Okay, so we're just adding a tiny bit more on top here. So that's the only thing is just it's it's small to, to be able to do your whole face with bronzer. Like you can, it's definitely possible to do your whole face with the bronzer, but you're sticking a huge brush in a tiny little area. So, but yeah, I was just pretty um, wowed by this palette and after trying so many products, you kind of, it sounds bad, but you like, I don't know, the novelty kind of wears off a bit because you've just tried so many good things that you're like, this kind of really needs to wow me to make it worth it, but it did. So I'm going to go in with the Chanel. I was going to use this one. I don't know. Would you rather me use this one? I haven't used this one in... Oh, sorry. I was going to use this one, Beige Karai. Um, but I haven't used this one in a video yet. And I said I wasn't going to get it, but it's the Beige Rosé A Mauve. So should I use this one? I don't know. In my picture that I was going to put as my thumbnail, I'm wearing the beige and coral. You know what? I'm going to save this mauve one for my next video, which is going to be the Patrick Ta. And like, do you want to see a comparison between this and the Patrick Ta or... Do you just think they're too different? I mean, there are similar eyeshadow shades, but it's just a different concept. Like that one is not meant for the entire face. It does have creams. There are only two creams, but it still does have the creams. So I don't know, like, do you 
What do you think? Okay, so I'm gonna do the beige and coral. And I did see Danessa use like the lighter shade as a highlight. I'm not gonna use it as a highlight because I just wanted something like a little more golden-y. I don't really want like just like a flat highlight, you know? Or like something with a little shimmer in it. Um, I did notice some people were saying about this palette that there were little like fibers on top of a couple shades and I do mention it at the end of my video I'm gonna put in um, a clip of me opening it for the first time and I do mention it in the clip that there are a couple little fibers on top of a couple of the shades but once you start using it and like I did see a video of someone using the palette and they didn't want to use the shades because they thought they were bad I'm not really worried that they're bad because the palette is brand new I think that once you just kind of go over the top layer, it goes away. So I don't know what the deal is with that. I don't, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wish I knew more. But that's all I know is that they were there. And I don't know why. Okay, so I'm going a little ham with the blush. I realize this, but... This one kind of like fades on me a little bit throughout the day. So maybe I need to do... Maybe I need to do a setting spray. I actually have been using this guy again, the Milk Pore Clip Setting Spray. The only thing is my sprayer is janky. Like something is really wrong with it. It like sprays in a straight line it's not like psh, it's like psh, 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 psh. and it's weird and I'm like can you calm down so I'd probably just put it on a sponge and then kind of dab my face but yeah I don't know I don't know why it does that I think maybe it's just mine I don't know I somebody else was using it they're like what a nice beautiful mist and I'm like do we have the same product because what <laughs> And sorry, here is my, I'm like looking for my highlighter. It's underneath the iPad. Here's the highlighter I'm going to use. This is just the Venusian Nude from Pat McGrath. I don't really use this one a ton, but I thought I may as well. So it's kind of dog hair in there. I forgot to say I might have to quickly stop and answer the phone because my dog is getting a dental right now. And she's a little older and it's, I'm nervous. So they did say they were going to call me and let me know around how much work needs to be done so it's gonna be super expensive she hasn't had a dental in a while and i feel really bad but i was holding off because i was nervous about taking her in because i've heard horror stories and even when i was talking about taking her in they were like okay if we need to do any life-saving measures and i'm like Please don't talk to me about this because I can't even think about it. So yeah. But anywho. Okay, so we have the highlight. This one is a little glittery. That's probably why I don't wear it too, too much. But anyway. Okay, so I think we're first going to go in with Desert and Mirage creams. So let's go in with this brush. This is just a... Makeup by our Morphe and Ariel brush, and it's A20. So let's, no, sorry. I'm gonna actually use this one, which is the A21, I believe. I can't really see it, but it's a fluffier brush. Um, okay. Sorry, I took the day off today because of my dog, and I keep getting missed calls from work even though I put my out of office on and yeah but anywho so this is the two shades mixed together and even just using these two I was like ooh because this is the creams and I was just shocked how they were showing up because I really did not think 
Like I was thinking they wouldn't be so powdery looking. I thought it was just like a heavy kind of cream and it's not and it's beautiful. So I'm just doing both eyes here. I'll probably just do one brow on camera because I feel like that might be a little boring to watch both brows. It does take me a little bit longer. I'm so used to using like my NYX pen and just being like boom, 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 boom. But this one does take me a little bit longer because I do use the pomade and I use the powder just to like deepen them a little bit. So I'll probably just do the one brow on camera, but I do really like how they turn out. They definitely look softer than my normal brow because one thing I struggle with with the NYX pen is how much ink is gonna come out and sometimes too much comes out at once and I'm like, ugh. Then my brows look so, so dark and thick. So this is just the creams right now. So I used, again, Desert and Mirage and these can be popped out if you wanted to pop them out. So the powders and the creams can both be popped out. There's little, little, um, Holes there so you can pop them out if you need to. So now I'm going to go in with a smaller brush and using the same shades, I'm going to go back in the crease just to deepen it a little bit. But yeah, there's just something about even just these two shades that I was like, ooh, beautiful. Like part of me was like, should I return the Patrick Ta one? It's so beautiful though. Like there's nothing wrong with it and there's no reason that I would have to return it except that it's too similar to what I already own. I do have the Major Dimension one, which I do feel the warmer tones look similar to the warmer tones in the Patrick Ta, but they're not the same. And I do think number one, like when you just look at them online, number one looks exactly the same as three. Like all the, the one row looks exactly the same. But when you actually have it in person, they don't. So, you know. Now I'm going to go in with the A25. And I'm going to go into Chiseled again, that kind of taupey color, my favorite. And then just go a little bit closer in the crease. And you can definitely do what Martina did and add like a little shimmer to the eye when you're done. Did she add a shimmer? I think she did. Oh my god, sorry I'm the worst. I'm pretty sure she did just to like jazz it up a little bit. I'm probably just gonna keep mine matte. Like I just love a matte eye. And I like that that just cooled it off a little bit. So I'm going into, actually I'm gonna go into the chiseled powder now instead of the cream. I was just using the cream, but now I'm using the powder. And I'll go back into the powder one more time. This one looks, I don't know why, everything on this side of my face looks darker. I don't know if it's like the light is coming from here. So this always looks different, but in person it looks blended and on camera it's looking not blended. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna use this fluffy brush again and I'm gonna go into the Desert and Mirage powders and just tap them and tap it off on my hand a bit and just kind of blend it out a tiny bit. And these powders do a great job of setting the pomade, obviously. I mean, that's what <laughs> they're supposed to do, but but they really stay. Like I used this the other day and it really stayed all day. So there we go. Those are the eyes. I am going to do my eyeliner and I'll be back. 
No, I'm not doing eyeliner. I was going to use my eyeliner. I'm doing the eyeliner with this palette. Never mind. Okay, so I'm going to go in with... I'm going to use this one for brows, actually. This is a MAC one. So I need to find a different brush. I found one. Okay. So again, the Makeup by Ariel brush, um, A16, I believe this is. So I'm going to go in with... Hmm. I don't know what shades to use. I think I'll go in with Bark and Tourmaline. And again, using the creams, then we'll go over it with powder. So I'm mixing the two of them. I'm so dumb. How did I forget? Oh yeah, there's eyeliner in here. Okay. Um, I changed my mind and I'm going to use the math brush because it's just so much more pointed and I just like it so much better so I'll just have to clean it off before I go do my brows and again bark and tourmaline and I'll probably go in with bark that brown deepest brown shade and go in with the powder over top of these. Just to kind of set it down and smudge it out a bit. And what I like about these is they don't look super harsh. Like the black is black. I'll show you. So the black is quite black, but when I'm dipping into it with my brush, it's not looking super harsh black. I mean, you can get it to go darker if you wanted to, but I like that it's looking like kind of a smudgy, smoky look instead of like a harsh kind of straight line. So I always like to just kind of flick it out a little bit more. So I'm gonna go over top of that. I'll go in with a kind of fluffy brush so I'll go over with bark powder and we'll kind of just smudge that a tiny bit again it doesn't really need to be smudged because like I said it kind of has that soft kind of smudged look to it already but just because and then I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit of that black powder and just go right up my lash line okay, so I'm going to go in with my pencil now which is Urban Decay Black Market And I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush. Where is it? I really should get myself an order here. I always do this. I'm like scrounging for brushes. So I'm going to go in sandstone, this lightest shade, in the powder. And just go right in the corner of my eye to brighten things up a bit. Okay, and then I'm going to go under the eye with that um, pencil brush again, and I think I'll use, let's go, no, let's go chiseled, bark, and tourmaline. So I like to mix shades, so chiseled, bark, tourmaline, and we're just using the powders for this. And mouth wide open is a must. Just catching flies over here. Why can't I close my mouth? What is wrong with me? I wish you could see what it looks like in real life. Like my camera just never does justice to these shades. 
because that like yellowy type shade just looks so good mixed with that taupe shade. Okay, so I'll go back in with my pencil and line my bottom waterline. And I'm gonna go do my other eye and then we'll start on brows. So I'll do my other eye and I'll go do mascara and then I will start on my brows. Okay, eyes are done. Mascara is the Rare Beauty Mascara. There's only one shade, so it's a black shade. And on the lower lashes is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. I just find this one doesn't really smudge. I haven't tried the Rare Beauty, but I'm just scared. I'm scared of the unknown. Um, so I just have the brow setter on, the 24-hour brow setter by Benefit. And then all I did to my brows, like color-wise, was use the Maybelline Express Brow in the shade... I think it's soft brown soft brown and I just went underneath with this and that's all I'm doing with that I'm gonna put that away now um, I am gonna wipe off my brush because I was using that black shade on there and I don't want my brows to be black so again I'm just gonna do the one brow I think on camera so I'm gonna go in with that shade let's do I think we will do chiseled and sculpted. So these two here. Sculpted looks pretty dark, but I think it will actually be okay. I just like kind of just gently tapped in there. So I'm again going in with this MAC brush. These are the pomades that I'm using. Just keep that in mind. So I do go in with the pomades first and then just gently go in with the powder when I'm done. And I'm just kind of... Filling in the area. So I already got that like spiky look with that brow gel. So I don't necessarily need to, you know, draw like little hairs because I already have my actual hairs kind of spiking up there. If I did want to add any, I would maybe just grab my pen and just add a couple little brow hairs in there. But I don't really feel like right now that I need to anyway. And again, I'm just kind of tapping gently into both shades at once, or not at once, but one after the other. So I'm just kind of making sure I have a good point on my brush there because Look like I added a little bit too much product just right in the front of the brow, if you can see that. So again, going back in those shades. So like I said, the brows do take me a little bit longer to do with a brush as opposed to the pen. I'm so used to just, you know, boop, 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 boop with the pen. You'd think it would take longer, but I've just gotten so used to using it that it's pretty quick, actually. So again, in with the pomade. And I think what I'm going to do is now go in with the powder. So I'm going to go in, I think, with Bark powder. So this one here. It's a little bit... Mm, no, you know what? I'm going to stay with Sculpted. Stay with Sculpted if I need a little bark on the edge because it's a little darker. I don't want to go too dark in the brows either. Just adding just a tiny bit of color and shaping them just the tiniest bit. Because I don't want any like gaps in my brows. I noticed there was a tiny gap there. dead silent sorry <laughs> when I'm concentrating I'm just like in the zone K, 
Okay, so now I'm gonna add just like the tiniest little touch of bark and just add it just right at the front there because I noticed there's, again, there's just like little, will look like little bald patches. So I'm just filling all those in. So I'm gonna go do my other brow and then we'll fix this kind of situation at the front there. I'll be right I don't back. love how this side turned out, but I think it was the way I did. Honestly, it all depends on the way I do my, um, my uh, gel so i do have a couple like baldish spots here that i tried to fill in but i think like only the pen will make it look a little bit fuller so i'm just adding like a tiny bit of the pen and i'll add it just at the front here just a touch i don't want to add too much because i want to keep them looking more natural oh fudge Because I like the way that this one looks, I just... What's going on? Yeah, I think this side was my fault. The way I was using the gel, the way I spiked my brows up, just created like little bald looking spots okay one second sorry i just got a call my dog is good and she didn't have any extractions which also is great news because that is so i'm gonna quickly do my lips i'm so happy they said she's doing well i'm like oh praise jesus um okay so for lips i'm gonna go in with chiseled you know my favorite color and i think i'll go in with desert as well so i'm gonna go in with both of the creams oh i'm so happy sorry i just I was freaking out over this for literally years. Like I hadn't had her dental done in so long and I was so worried about her. And so I kept putting it off, which was obviously not a good thing because that can affect their health. So if you have a dog, don't put it off. Um, yeah, I'm just so happy. Anyway, great news, great news all around. That never happens. And also my fiance was saying, like I said, my oil change, I was worried how expensive that was gonna be. I'm like, this is gonna be a pricey, pricey day. And that was cheaper than expected too. So yay. Yay all around. So again, some of these things do take longer so, I mean, if I just had a lip liner, I would just slap the lip liner on. So, this does take longer because I'm going into two pomades. So. Sorry about my little crusty lips here. I've been like really struggling with dryness on my lips and every night I put on either like the e.l.f. one, I put on the lip sleeping mask from Laneige. Oh my god, I want that caramel apple one so bad. But I still have a full one so I'm like, oh, I shouldn't. Okay, so again, I'm just going to fill this in just the tiniest bit. So yeah, like I was saying, it does, you know, take a little longer. Maybe I just need a better lip brush because this seems to be taking way longer than it normally would. I'm going to go in with that cream, the sandstone cream, which is that lighter shade. And in... Martina's video I think she used the exact same colors um she was saying it was a little too matte for her and a little too cool toned which makes sense but I am queen of cool tones so I'm into it <laughs> but I'm just going to go back and outline a little bit because this is a little light 
I think I put a little too much sandstone. But just adding that tiny bit there. So now, just to see, I already, look how much of that color I've used. Ugh. I'm just gonna push it down a little bit, just to make it a little better. And I just had a tiny bit of that uh, chiseled shade on my finger from pushing the powder or the cream down. So I just added a tiny bit of that on my lips. See, like I would wear this. This is a nice lip color for me. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of gloss just to hydrate them a little bit because they've been so dry. And this is the Clean Fresh Yummy Gloss in the shade Coconuts About You. And that's it, my friends. So, just to recap, on the nose, I used the contour, or I used it to contour my nose, used it to contour my face, used it for a little bronzing action, but I did add a tiny bit of bronzer too, used it for my lips, used it for my, everything on my eyes is all this, this palette. So all in all, I think it just really performs beautifully. I really, really enjoy it. Again, I'm like sad that because I know this shade is just going to get beaten up because I love that shade. But I have nothing bad to say about this palette. Again, the only thing I would say is I'm scared a little bit that these will possibly dry out. But if that person was correct, then that's amazing if she does have an actual ingredient to prevent that from happening. Also, I'm having an issue like closing this fully. And I don't know if it's because of that, this thing. So let's try taking that out and then putting it down. Yes, it was that thing. So yeah, that's all I would say, the only negative. And I would maybe say I wish the powders were a little bit bigger because like I said, I do like powders and I generally lean more towards powders, but these creams are so beautiful, so blendable easy to use and I absolutely just love them and I love the shades like these are definitely my everyday shades again it looks better in person than it does on camera but just trust me on that and go watch uh Martina and Rebecca's videos because they're great and also Miriam Maquillage did a video too and hers is also awesome and she did mention the same thing she wished the creams or sorry, the powders were a little bit bigger. So that is the only complaint. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I think I'm going to do my Patrick Ta video next. If you want to see them compared, just let me know. And I didn't swatch these because they don't swatch great. I feel like they, they do their magic like actually on your face. So sorry for not swatching, but there are tons of swatches online. So yeah, again, thank you so much. And I love you. Bye. Okay, so I'm going to use this today. Um, I'm, diff I'm filming on a different day, um, but I wanted to try this before I do my video. But I just wanted to show you what it looked like before I touch it. So there's sandstone, desert, mirage, chiseled, sculpted, stone, core, harvest, bark, and tourmaline. Um, I did notice, if you can see on mirage it almost looks like there's sparkles but what it actually is is tiny little fibers i have heard other people have had this in some of the colors all you have to do is just wipe off the top layer and apparently it goes away i'm not sure why that is but i don't care <laughs> it's brand new so i'm not really worried about it but yeah that's what it looks like in its glory